Are you tired of checking the feedback overview to see if there are new feedback items? Or the epics page to see if anyone assigned a story to you? Or how about hitting refresh on the forum to see if someone has answered your question? The days of manually checking up on everything that's happening with your apps and in the community are over. Say hi to notifications in the Mendix platform. The notifications will let you know if someone assigns something to you, replies to forum questions, feedback items, and more. Every notification is directly related to your apps and activity to make them as relevant as possible. You can find the notifications bell right next to your profile image in the top right of the developer portal. We can even send you an email if a specific notification is important to you. Right now, there are about 10 types of notifications across three main categories, alerts, following, and recommendations. Alert notifications require your immediate attention, for example, when one of your environment runs into an error. Following notifications come from people commenting, reacting, or mentioning you in updates, like your stories, forum posts, and projects. Recommendations let you know about new releases, new Academy content, or other updates that might be relevant to you. You can configure all this on the Notifications Settings page. For now, notifications are available as a beta feature and will be expanded and improved over time. Check out the notifications for yourself and let us know what you think. What do you like or dislike? And which notifications are you missing? We are excited to announce the release of a brand new tool for agile planning called Epix, a proper successor of Stories. With Epix, we're introducing the board as the homepage. This is where your day-to-day -day work will live. With fully customizable swim lanes, support for both Scrum and Kanban, and a brand new board with drag and drop, you have all the freedom to set up your team's processes exactly the way you want. For Scrum, we've introduced the concept of a sprint goal, which will always be visible and help the team prioritize stories based on which ones contribute to the goal most. You have new options for story descriptions as well, like formatting text, link stories, and adding attachments. On the planning page, it's all about creating a good flow of stories, from backlog through refinement to the to-do section, if you're doing Kanban, or next sprint, if you're doing Scrum. And of course, as the name suggests, you can organize stories into epics. You can open them directly from the board or the planning page and keep track of their progress. Once a sprint is complete, all the done stories go to the archive automatically. Kanban teams can archive individual stories or whole swim lanes. Get started with the epics beta by asking your Scrum Master to enable it on the general settings page of your app. More cool features are coming soon, so stay tuned and make sure you let us know what you think of Epix by using the feedback widget. It's a good day if you are a data and integration expert. Starting with Mendix 9.17, you can publish non-persistent entities as OData resources and use microflows to define how your resources should be retrieved and stored. This not only gives you more flexibility in the way you expose your data, but it also enables you to wrap other data sources and services with an OData API. This brings a whole new level of simplicity and productivity to building apps on top of these APIs. Once exposed as OData APIs, you can discover them in the Data Hub catalog and use them simply by dragging and dropping them into your app. While this basically just extends the capabilities of OData APIs in Mendix and is available to everyone using OData, we're also positioning this as Connector Kit 2.0 because it enables connector authors to build significantly easier to use connectors accessing external data. Authors can now decide to provide that access through external entities instead of microflows and microflow activities. One particular issue developers run into with OData APIs is that it's not always easy to use them in their existing tooling, like Postman. This comes from the lack of open API support. Mendix 9.17 solves this. OData services now also provide open API contracts out of the box. These are provided in addition to the regular OData metadata contracts. Open API contracts ensure you can use all of your existing REST tooling that rely on open API. Better yet, you can use the provided documentation page to instantly test your REST API without any additional tooling. And the real benefit is that you can build REST APIs even faster with more complete functionality, following OData best practices for REST, while not forcing OData on your consumers. And that brings us to the end of this release video. 
For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com slash blog, or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. Download Studio Pro 9.17 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all these new features right now. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Either way, we'll know if you want to see more. I'm Jan Lefries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.